Hey, my name is Max, he, him, his. Well, I'm about to show you yet another pair of beautiful Jace Crew LC pumps. Maybe give you my inconsequential opinion on them. I did want to talk about something that's very important to me. Now, I've never been accused of having a stage presence by any stretch of the imagination. So I, I did write up a little bit of a script and I'll try not to read too much, but there will be a little bit of reading. Um, so it does take a lot of privilege for a cis white guy to sit on some YouTube channel, which will likely go nowhere, but still sit and critique pumps and try them on. Many people who are trans, gender non-binary, and identify otherwise, um, they don't get the chance to represent themselves authentically. And these shoes, they're just shoes. The constraints of society prevent people, gender non-binary folks, from being able to show their overall authenticity, the many different facets of them that make them individuals. Um, and they truly do deserve to be able to show that. And no, that's, that's not their fault either. That's, that's our fault. Um, so to throw a few stats, according to the Trevor Project, they had a 2020 survey which indicated that 40% of LGBTQ respondents um, did consider death by suicide. Um, and that number goes higher for gender non-binary and trans youth. It goes to 40, 50%. And that's youth that we're talking about. So, a lot of people in the LGBTQIA community, um, some that I've spoken to, uh, you know, I'm a gay man, so most of the people that I run with are gay men. Um, I have heard before, anecdotally, that, um, you know, there's no LGBTQIA, and it should just be LGB and my privilege of silence. I remain silent listening to those very depressing derogatory comments. Um, so it's not just a society against the LGBTQIA community. It's overall representation within and outside the community. With those depressing statistics that the Trevor Project uh, study. There, there's an issue of representation. Um, and while I said earlier that shoes are barely representation, um, there is a lot that goes into feeling represented. And while being able to wear pumps for me makes me feel a little bit more um, emboldened, I suppose, just the overall message from society is that we must conform to gender rules and we must conform to these rigid lines and men can't act like women and women can't act like men. Um, and when I look at these shoes, they're shoes. You know, they're not, they're not like, a woman's shoe, they're not a man's shoe, they're not a trans person's shoe, they're just, they're just a shoe. And in of themselves, they're really just pieces of leather. And so just wearing them shouldn't be a political act. Getting on to what you probably clicked the video on for is um, another pair of J. Crew LC pumps. Um, the last one I showed you were black. These are cream suede, um, three and a half inches, 90 millimeters approximately. Um, made in Italy, absolutely beautiful. Smells stunning. Um, I haven't worn these because um, they're just so perfect. A lot like the black pumps that I showed you, these um, J. Crew LC cream pumps are just stunning. The lines, um, the heel is a little bit shorter than I like, 
but they're walkable. Um, I walked around town in the other pumps, the other J. Crudelsi pumps, and they just, they, they felt great. So trying them on, they feel great like the other pumps. They feel actually kind of the same. I would love to mix and mat match the pumps. Um, wear the black suede with the cream suede, um, one on each foot. They walk great. They're not too high. Um, again, I do like when it's like that. However, take some and you lose some on a budget. But these are absolutely beautiful. Totally recommend them. I do wish that J. Crew would go up to a size maybe 14 or 15, but that will likely come in the future. Um, but overall, these are just great. So, again, do I recommend the J. Crew LC pumps? Hands down, of course, to everyone. And maybe some variations on the heel heights, like maybe a. Um, a 60, a 90, and a 120, well, a 120 is very high, um, but a 105 millimeters, um, that would be amazing. I have to move south again for um, a PhD program, um, and my boyfriend, well, actually, as of yesterday, my fiance, um, has asked me that I don't bring my set of pumps with me to the town that I'm moving to. Um, and I've never been one to follow rules. So I think these are gonna be a staple down there. But these are beautiful. And as always, to the trans and non-gender binary youth out there, um, we're here for you, we see you, and we love you. Thank you.